Hello everybody, today we are going to making whole wheat herb bread. If you're on YouTube and you just want a printable recipe, click on the link below and grab one. If you want to watch the video, let's get going. First thing I'm going to do is get my yeast mixture going and this is a bit of warm water. And then next to that here I have some dark, deep, delicious molasses and I'm just going to throw it in here and make a little art project. If you have kids and you want to get them in the kitchen, this is a good time to bring them in. It's really fun to play with this. Anyway, I am going to set this teaspoon aside and this is my instant yeast. I'm just going to dump it in there with the water and then I'm going to grab that teaspoon again because I just basically want to clean it off. It's hard to get all of that thick molasses off of your spoon. So I'm just going to use it to stir, but of course this is not going to meet our needs. So I'm going to swap it out for a fork and get some better mixing going there because you really want to make sure all of that yeast is incorporated into your mix like so. And after that, we are going to get our dry ingredients. This is two and a quarter cups of whole wheat pastry flour. And then I have some rosemary and some basil and some salt and some oregano and some onion powder. And I'm just going to give this a quick stir with a nice dry fork. And once that's all mixed up, I'm going to just put a little hole in the middle there and you can see I got my yeast mixture. It's been sitting for about five minutes and look at the foam. That foam means that your yeast is active and ready to go and it's gonna make this dough rise really well. And with that in there, I just used the fork to incorporate the water into the dough just enough so that I can grab it with my hands because you don't want to stick your hands right in the water. But as you can see there, now it's actual dough and I can just grab it. And what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get all of the flour out of the bowl. I'm not really trying to knead the bread in the bowl. I just want to get all the flour out, which is quite a lot of work. Sometimes it wants to stick in the bowl. And once I've got all that out, then I just get a flat surface. I like to use a wooden cutting board, dust it with some flour, and then this bread needs kneading for just about one to two minutes. It's not a lot. And all I do is just fold it over and smash it, fold it over and smash it, fold it over and smash it. Like I said, just for about a minute or two. This is really easy dough to make. And there it's all nice and smooth, which is what you want. I left a big crease on the top, which is a bad idea. We'll see why. And then uh, just cover it up with some plastic. I put it right on the baking tray so that I can just remove the plastic and put it right in the oven. And here it's been sitting for an hour. And look how big it is. It's huge. At least doubled in size. And I've got my onion, my onion, my oven preheated to 350. And I'm going to throw it in there and bake it for 35 minutes later bake it for 35 minutes and then oh it's hot and then there we go we got a nice loaf of whole wheat bread it is super delicious and as you can see here i got some nice sauce that i made and it's really good if you have a chance to make this then please go over to our facebook page the link is below and give me some pictures of what you made